today we are going to be drawing a wreath. Yep. We thought maybe we'd add a little holiday cheer, and a wreath seemed like a good idea. Yep. So follow along with us. Maddie's earrings are the inspiration, and we will get started. Ready? One, two, three. All right, kiddo, you ready? The first yep. thing we're going to do for to make these wreaths is we're going to take these circular poppets that you had. Uh -huh. And you guys can use, you guys at home can use anything that's circular. Or if you just want to go for it without making a guideline, we're simply, we're, this isn't going to be the outline of our wreath. It's just going to be a guideline. So we're going to go super light and we're going to put this in the middle, both from the top and bottom and the left and right, as close as we can. No need to measure, just eyeball it. Oh. And then we're just going to lightly, ever so lightly, um, go around it. So we have a guideline, okay? Hopefully you can see that in the camera, okay? But the reason for doing this is not to use this as the outside of our wreath, but to give us a guideline so that when we do the wavy part of the wreath, like we're gonna do in a second, we don't go too far from the circle that we've created. Yeah, it's just so our wreath can be circular. That's exactly right. Okay, so we've each got our Sharpies. And we are now going to make a kind of a wavy line on the outside of this circle line. That'll serve as the outside of our wreath, right? Uh -huh. Hmm. But before we do, Maddie, we probably ought to draw the bow first, huh? Yeah. All right, we so the, the bow should be first. And the bow is going to be on the top portion of our wreath, okay? So what I'm gonna suggest is that using this pencil line as the top, of our ribbon, at least the top of the center of our ribbon, we're gonna draw a circle right here. And that's gonna represent the knot that's tied in the ribbon. Okay, and then out to each side, we're gonna draw a kind of wavy line to represent the ribbon. And we're not going for perfection, we're going for fun. Fun, that's right. So there is no such thing as messing up. We can make it all look good. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. The only trick here is to make sure it's about the same distance. So just a little quick pen cap measuring. It looks like I've gone far enough. So I'm gonna come bring it down and bring it back in. Okay, good enough. So one thing I want to do to give it a 3D effect is I'm going to bring a piece of ribbon, like because it, rip, rip, when you tie a ribbon, it's like a loop, right? Yeah. So it goes out and it comes back. So if we just draw a line in behind here, like draw it coming back, then it gives it it gives it that three dimensional look that we're looking for. I have a suggestion for you since your your side is higher over here and not as high over here, make this one come up a little bit before it comes over, and then make this the top, the back side of the ribbon. So come okay. over like this. Because you see how like this one's yeah. thicker than that. Yeah. You can even that out by, by doing just a little bit different. Beautifully done, beautifully done. That's what you call an on the fly correction. Beautiful, wonderful looking now, okay? Now, there's our ribbons. Now, what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to make that wavy line that we were talking about a few minutes ago, okay? So I'm gonna go first. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wavy pattern around. Mm. It definitely isn't perfect because wreaths are not. We're using pine bows to make these wreaths. And you can see up here, there's just a little ring that's gonna be showing. And I also wanna say that, um, like you might notice that wreaths are like wavy like this, but this is like a cartoon version, right? Exactly, yes, we're not, we're not doing a realistic yeah. version where we draw each and every little pine bow. We're not gonna do that. This is gonna be a very cartoonish version. In fact, it's inspired by Madeline's earrings. We'll show you those in the conclusion. But um, yeah, it's, they're gonna be super cool, but they're gonna be like cartoonish. Yeah, we're not, we're not going for a super technical drawing here. Good point, Maddie. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna draw the inside of the wreath. And it's gonna be similar to this wavy pattern, but it's gonna be a much smaller circle, okay? And wreaths come in all sizes. They come in really, really thick to sort of skinny-ish. So it's totally up to you. Do whatever kind you want. 
I'm going to do mine sort of medium. It's uh, going to remind me of our donut drawing, actually, except for our donut yeah. drawing. We didn't do wavy lines, but um, so we're just kind of, we don't have any guidelines on this one. We're just kind of go, going to go for it. And I'm just going to try to keep it the same or similar-ish distance away from the edge. And again, there's no wrong way to do it. Cool. And now we've we've left enough room to put decorations on. So we're really just gonna decorate with some um, some of those bulbs that you would put on a Christmas tree. It can be red bulbs or gold bulbs or blue bulbs or green or any color you really want. There's yeah. no rules here, okay? So we're gonna decorate with some bulbs, just some circles in random places. Ready? Uh -huh. I don't know how many to draw. I don't want to overdo it, but I don't um, want to underdo it either. Here's where Maddie is counting up the bulbs on each of our wreaths. And... Same amount. <laughs> that cool. wasn't planned at all. You know what? Let's do it. That means that's how many we have to do. Yeah. Okay. So... It also looks decent, so... Yeah, it does. It doesn't look overcrowded, but it looks cool. Okay, yeah. so we're going to go with a red ribbon. At least, you're going to go with a red ribbon? Yeah, I think that's like... Pretty, pretty standard, right? Yeah. Red ribbon, I'm gonna do a couple red bulbs, probably a couple gold ones. Um, uh, no, not green, not green. Not green, because it'll blend, but maybe a couple blue ones. Any color, like any wintry, Christmassy color, yeah. or even just your favorite colors. Exactly, you can do it any way you want. So we'll color, fast forward, and we'll show you what we got. Just you can also sure erase the pencil line, though. Too. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Merry Christmas. Christmas. We figured we'd do some holiday wreaths and we think they came out pretty good. These are obviously not designed to be super realistic. But this idea was sort of inspired by Madeline's earrings. Madeline has wreath earrings on tonight. So they're super cute. And close up on that. maybe we can do a close up on that, yeah. We thought that was a super cool idea. Simplistic. Simple and bring some holiday cheer, just like our trees that we have here. <laughs> so if you enjoyed it, please ask your parents if you can subscribe. Check out our other channels. Crack. <laughs> Crazy Kids TV and Odin's Antics. That's right. And check out more of our videos here on Craft Kids TV. Plenty of playlists to check out, even a Christmas playlist. Until we see you next time. Bye. Bye.